So Apple has released iOS 16 developer beta one. And then in this video, I'm going to share with you the new features Apple has released to us so far and also how you're going to be able to use them. So if you're new here, just give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let's just dive into the video. So as promised by Apple, this iOS 16 is actually very cool. And the first I want to share with you is the notification. So with a notification right now, when you get a notification, you're going to scroll from the down to the top. That is how you're going to see your notifications. It's not going to come from the top any longer. You're actually going to scroll from the down. And that is pretty much very cool. So that is one new change I also noticed when I just installed this on my iPhone 8 Plus. And also one nifty thing so far Apple did and I think I really like about is the wallpaper right here or the screen lock, the lock screen right here. And then when you check out the uh, time right here, you can see it picks the color of the wallpaper. And I think it's actually mimicking the material you theme of Android, but that is just by the way. So in case you want to just change your lock screen, what you need to do is you press hold on your screen like this and you're going to see customize right here. And what you need to do next is you swipe to the left and then you're going to see this section right here. You can choose to add a new wallpaper for yourself and that is pretty much very cool. So you can just choose any of these ones you feel like you like and then we have featured right here. You can scroll through and that is going to be your new lock screen or wallpaper and then when you check here too you can add people on the lock screen provided you just pick this one right here you can customize everything you see right here you can change the date and time and then the time right here change the widgets right here with like that is when you add widgets on your screen you can change them anytime you feel like you want on your lock screen so in case i want to change this one you can see right here i can choose any of these sections right i feel i want them to display this at this section and that is pretty much very cool the time too I can change the fonts to right here so you can see and then even the color and that is basically very cool when it comes to the widget tool you press hold and then you're going to be able to just take one out and when you take it out you're going to be able to replace it with another and that is basically where so any of the ones you feel like you want you tap on it and then it's going to display right there and then you are good so that is one cool thing i noticed with this ios 16 developer beta one and then another thing i also found which was very cool was you can actually choose a picture for yourself as a wallpaper so you can scroll through and in case maybe you want to use let's say this picture right here you can do it and then you customize whatever you feel like you want to add as widgets on your lock screen and that is basically very cool that is one cool thing too and then also another thing i like so far too is you can just tap on this section and then you can shuffle any picture you select the number of pictures you feel like you want to shuffle at a given time and then the wallpaper is actually going to shuffle at any time you choose that one and then with emoji that is one of the best ones i feel like i like and then you are entitled to choose six emojis right here so look on my screen i'm gonna pick on any of them till i get to the seat one and then that's pretty much very cool after you are done you can tap on the screen and then you can swipe through to change how it's being arranged and then however you feel like you want it you keep it and then you save it so i think this is the dopest one and then when you finish you can choose your widgets you feel you want to add to the screen and this is actually going to be your lock screen and that is basically very cool a lot of people are going to play around with this and that is basically very cool so you can tap on colors too to change the colors you feel like you want however you feel you want your display to be even if you want it to be deeper or lighter it depends on you so apple did great is with this new ios 16 and then you can check out right here we have already made widgets wallpapers too when you just check out you can just swipe through like you did for the first one and then pick on them and then also you can check on any of them if it really suits you you can just tap on them and then check on it and then we have collections too it has different colors and then you can just do the customization like we did for the first two and then when you check through you can see them right here and that is pretty much very cool we have colors too which is just like still colors or just some gradient colors and then you can just pick on those ones too and then you can use as your lock screen and that's pretty much very cool so after you set the wallpaper and then you are good you tap on focus and it's actually going to allow you to pick any focus you feel like you want so in case maybe you want a particular lock screen to display at do not disturb you tap on do not disturb and then this wallpaper is actually going to display at do not disturb in case you want it asleep it's going to show up when you you put it on sleep and that is pretty much very cool when you feel you just you just want to delete this you press hold on it like this and then you can delete your wallpaper right here and then you are good so that is pretty much very cool so that is what i've seen so far with the lock screen and i think apple has done a lot with this one right here and i was actually doubting my iphone 8 was going to pick most of these features but it did so i think big ups to apple and then in case maybe any new thing is actually being updated to us i'm just going to share with you so let's check out the next feature that came through so the next feature that came through was within iMessage so right now when you're 
using iMessage. You can actually send a message and then unsend the message and even you can edit a message in iMessage. So let's say I type in hello bro and then I send this, you can see it, it, it wrote hello bro. So I want to say just edit this, I press hold and I tap on this and then I'm going to be able to just edit it right away from here. So you can see and then I'm going to be able to just send it again i can see edited right there and that is pretty much very cool in case maybe i just want to unsend this i press hold on this like this and then you can see undo send you tap on it and it's actually going to unsend it but they are telling me the person is on the older version of ios and that is true because it's just the developer preview and he's not a developer so he doesn't have the new iMessage. and that is one of the cool things i've seen so far with the new iMessage too and i think it's not bad and then also you can now make messages on red so in case maybe i want to do this message on red i swipe to the left and all of them are going to be on red and then at a given time or at a time i feel like i want to read i just i can just go back and then read and, and that is pretty much very cool so you can see right here afterwards you can just read them and that is basically very cool so that is one cool thing i've liked so far too with a new iMessage apple has actually brought to us so let's check out the next feature too we have right here so after i installed the ios 16 and then i opened my email I saw this splash screen right here and then it's telling me that I can now schedule my emails and then also set a reminder in my email and then also on send emails and that is pretty much very cool so you can see the splash screen right here so I'm just going to show you with the schedule of emails so I open an email like this and I feel like I want to just reply this email and I press hold on this section right here you're going to see it's going to tell me to send now send tonight send tomorrow and send later so send later it's going to tell me to pick a date I wish I will just send this email to the person I feel like I want to send and that is pretty much very cool. But so far, these are the new changes that Apple has brought to us and basically this is just a beta 1. So there are a lot more that are going to come and in case they are being released in the beta 2, beta 3, I'm actually going to just share with you guys. But so far with the beta 1 and we're having a lot of changes like this, I think um, Apple is actually going to give us a lot of great things in the new iOS 16 that is coming up. So in case you've not subscribed to the channel, just subscribe because I'm having a lot more I'm going to share with you. and. Without further ado, I'm just going to catch you in the next video. Like this video so that it reaches a lot of people too. Peace.